Good morning, friends. The prophet Isaiah writes, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Friends, last the last week or so is seen some big changes for many people as conditions of lockdown have eased in Ohio. Each one of us is impacted by this change, and as we transition back into the world, it's good for all of us to remember that easing of the lockdown restrictions is not the same thing as ending the pandemic. It's simply a change in the way we're living with it. <clears throat> After chatting with many of you on the phone, I'm going to guess that the significance of this change is going to take a little while to settle in. On one hand, the easing of restrictions feels like hope for some people. A few folks spoke of the beginning of the return of normality. But on the other hand, for some people, the easing of restrictions feels like anxiety. Even without a clear progress on vaccine or a cure, many people are now feeling obliged to be outside among other people. One of the fears that many people have mentioned is the official easing of restrictions might encourage some people to behave irresponsibly, to continue to ignore social distancing, to get irritated or angry or even violent when things are not back to normal. For such people, the feeling of relief at the end of the lockdown risks leading to a rather cavalier venting of pent-up pressure. Rather than helping society recover, such behaviors risks endangering everyone even more. The desire for things to be other than they are is at the very heart of suffering for ourselves and for others. Emerging from all these concerns, one consistent theme is about the challenge of going outside after being inside for so long. For some, this is both a literal and an emotional issue, opening the door and going outside. An image that often helps me when I've been feeling small or restricted is to picture a house that's been sealed up for a long time, perhaps with shutters and curtains closed over the windows and with the door being boarded up. I imagine the inside of the house dark and dusty and musty, but then in my mind I move around the house and I open all the curtains and shutters and let the sunshine stream in. And then I open the windows to let the fresh air and breeze in, and the house begins to breathe again. And finally, I open the door to let visitors in and to allow me to go out into the yard beyond. If that house is actually our spirit, imagine how much fresher, more spacious, and more beautiful it becomes when we open it up. Another practice that's often helpful to support the process of opening ourselves up and expanding beyond our closed off world is to imagine emerging from the quarantine using the loving kindness or compassion prayer. As you pray, start bringing groups of people to mind, wishing them well. You might start by thinking of someone you love or someone who loves you, or you might even think of someone you dislike or someone who's wronged you. You might think of someone you hardly know or someone you simply passed on the street. And finally, you might bring yourself to mind, all the while directing to all these people your hope that they can be safe and free from suffering and free from disease. You might repeat that phrase in your mind as you imagine these people, and as you do, open your heart to the larger world around you and thus transform the way your presence impacts the world. You know, prayer like this can also be done while you're walking. When you see people on the street or people in the store that are struggling to maintain a social distance or wear a mask, you might take a moment and do the breath prayer and send them love and health. Compassion practices like this are akin to strength training for our minds. As each of us starts to open ourselves back up to the world, I pray that we all stay safe and healthy and respectful of others, bringing a new spirit of God's love and hope into a frightened and fearful world. 
And for now, may God give you peace. And may Christ Jesus clothe you with health and vitality. And may the Holy Spirit speak through you with the good news of hope. Stay well, my friends, until we see one another again.